we're going to look at the super quick chord editing workflow that you see Deadmau5 using in his live streams. We're going to look at what's actually happening and why some people are having trouble with it. Okay, so check this out. The shortcut is option space. It's just plays back Ableton Live starting at the position where you click your mouse. That's called the playhead cursor. So if you want to start there, you can do it down here, but it's option. If you want to start, now if you hold down the option key, continually hit space and it starts over. Like that. Click here. I think a lot of people are not getting it to work when they're trying to play back a clip in the session view and it doesn't work. But same thing. But, and the reason for that is because Ableton doesn't know. You could have like 100 clips playing and Ableton is not going to know when you click on what beat where to start all the other clips. So it actually starts all of the clips from the very beginning at that point. The only other option that you have in session view is to stop and play back just by clicking there. You can anywhere along here. I don't even need to use the keyboard shortcut. And it's synced to the beat or the bar uh, in this case. It depends on your quantize setting up top. So the only workaround when you're in session view, if you want to have the same behavior, is to command click the clips that you want to have playing while you're editing, tab over to arrange view while you're holding it down and just drop them onto the uh, timeline in here and then command L to loop it and then spacebar and then you activate the timeline over here. So then you can option click while you're editing here.